In computing, there is a concept called Unix time. It is the number of seconds since January the 1st, 1970. Loads of programmers use it because it is really easy to deal with. It means that instead of having all these messy months with different numbers of days in each of them, and this weird thing where February has an extra day every four years except when it doesn't, you are dealing with just one number. The bigger the number, the later something happened. Easy. Now, as you might know, there is a leap second tonight, as I record this, because the Earth's orbit is slightly irregular. And that's a problem, because there are two ways that Unix time could deal with leap seconds, and both of them suck. Option one, include leap seconds. Unix time just keeps ticking on. That's not bad in theory, but in practice it means that any implementation of Unix time that converts between it and human readable time needs a database of every leap second that's ever happened, and an update whenever the decision to add or remove a leap second is taken. Otherwise, when you say 6pm, an old system that's missed leap second updates might understand that as a few seconds away from 6pm. Not a problem for most of the world, but kind of important if you are working out the time for, I don't know, docking a satellite. And good luck getting that vital leap second update to the satellite you've already put in space, or to the secure system that's cut off from the outside world. OK, so including leap seconds sucks. But not including them, which is the second option and the one that we as a species actually went for, also sucks. It means that Unix time isn't really the number of seconds since January the 1st, 1970. It's just a number you can calculate from whatever is on our human clocks. And because tonight, 235959 is going to happen twice, uh, officially it's 235960, but good luck getting that through any computer system, 235959 is going to happen twice. That means that Unix time is going to repeat a second. The key advantage of Unix time, that a bigger number always means later, not for those two seconds. And that's such a weird edge case that it's going to cause some minor glitches somewhere. How? No idea yet. Why? No idea yet. Could be something as simple as a process that's meant to run once a second that would save a file out with the current timestamp as its name. It's bad design, but it's an easy mistake to make. That program will discover there is already a file with that name, and if it's badly designed, it will crash. That's a really simple bug. Any actual problems will be massively more complicated and subtle than that. Uh, don't worry about your desktop computer or your phone. You can set the clock forward and back months on those, and it probably won't mess anything up. Google has a really clever solution to this, a leap smear which steadily stretches out the second over the course of a day. Yes, the clocks will be inaccurate by up to half a second, but their priority is making sure that time is linear. The accuracy doesn't matter so much. And some stock markets are taking a much more pragmatic approach. They are shutting down for the hour around the leap second, just in case. Because in a world where high frequency trading is dealing in milliseconds, a sudden glitch in time can really mess things up.